how to factory reset your Quest 3, your Quest 3S, or your Quest 2, just depending on which headset you've actually got. Well, there are two ways. You can reset it fully just from your headset, or you can reset it in the Meta Horizon app. I'm assuming, though, some of you don't actually have access to the headset through the app because maybe it's not connecting correctly. So you probably want to want to go with using the headset. I'll show you both. So using your phone, you want to go to the Meta Horizon app. You want to go to the top left-hand corner, and in it, there are two icons. One is your star, and the other one has a quest icon. So like your actual image of your quest. You want to click on that, right? And that should bring you to this, where you can then see, as long as you are connected, all the information. Now, to do this, you need to be connected to your Quest 3 or Quest 2 or Quest 3, yes. Because as you will see, just down here, it says Headset Settings. Now, if you're not connected, that will be greyed out. So, you click on Headset Settings, and then you want to go to Advanced Settings. Then, in Advanced Settings, down at the bottom, you will see Factory Reset. You want to just click on Factory Reset, and then it's going to ask you, are you sure? and you either click reset or cancel. Now, obviously, what happens when you reset the device is it clears it all, so it's brand new, like, like, like brand new, which means you're not going to have any profiles on there, you're not going to have any games, you're not going to have anything. It's going to be completely blank. Now, most of the stuff is stored in the cloud, so you're never going to have to worry about actually, you know, you're not going to lose any of your games or anything like that you will have to re-download your games. That's the only issue with it. And you just click reset. And then it's going to say your headset was disconnected. Click OK. And it's just, it's actually resetting your headset as we speak. And if you've watched a tutorial on this already, you'll know most of them don't actually reset the device. So I think that deserves like a like and a subscribe. The realization has just hit me that I'm going to have to re-download all my games when there was nothing wrong with my quest. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other option is to use your headset to factory reset it completely by itself without using the app. And this is generally when your app and your device are not connected or you're having problems with them connecting. This is the best way to do it. And to do it, you need to switch your device fully off by pressing and holding the power button until you see the power off sign inside the headset. And then... When you're switching it back on, what you want to do is press and hold the power button, which is just that one, and the volume down button, which is that one, closest to the nose piece. And what you want to do is when you see the USB menu that shows up, you want to just count to two and then let go of both buttons. So we'll go through it now. Press and hold. And when we see the USB, there we go. You want that two seconds. For some reason, if you go below, before that, or after that, the menu, the USB update menu mode, will just shut off and it'll go straight into boot up. So then what you've got in the USB update mode, you've got five different options. Boot device, device info, factory reset, side load update, and power off. And what you want to do is go through the menu by going up with volume up or down with volume down. Then you get to factory reset and to select it, you just press your power button. Then it's going to ask you, are you sure? Factory reset erase, erases all data and cannot be reversed. You can either go no, go back by pressing the power button or volume up to just go up and select yes erase and factory reset now you do that by pressing the power button again then you'll see the meta horizon logo pop up then you'll see a circle with erasing pop up and that erases everything then the meta horizon os logo shows back up and then it'll start to boot into the setup mode you'll hear that beep you'll hear the meta sound that it does the doodle doo and then we have it. It's then telling you to remove the battery uh, protector that, you know, keeps it not charged when you first buy your headset. So it's literally it's resetting it back to the original settings. And there we have it. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.